Hello, welcome back to Beer Dog Reviews. I'm doing another off the cuff one if you like, so no editing this time, so apologies if there's no thumbnail or anything like that. But again, when you just fancy a beer, all you've got is beer that you have to review, you might as well just film a quick one, eh? So, as before, from Little Critters, this time it's McCaw Blimey and El Dorado Mosaic and Citra Double IPA. This one comes in at 7.7% and again features oats so I'm expecting a softer mouthfeel. Let's have a look at the can. I've remembered to not use my back camera, so a uh, backlight so there's no glare. As you can see, you know, some scarlet macaws, some hyacinth macaws. Yeah, it's very parrot heavy, shall we say. But as always with Little Critters, fantastic artwork. I think you'll agree. There it is. So, let's give it a go. I do like a double IPA. You get a bit more flavour, shall we say. Let's get it into the glass. See what it's like. As I'm sure you can see on top of the mini fridge behind me, I've still got my head bangers can, so I haven't got the label off onto my cam wrap board yet, but I will do. Likewise with that one, it will go off on the board. So, what have we got? That is a well. It's not straw, it's not orange, it's not yellow, it's nervous. Uh, Should we go um, a rich straw maybe? It's hazy as you like. It's almost got the uh, essence of mango juice if you like. On the aroma, very citric. Very tropical. There's definite pineapple in there. There's hints of grapefruit. It's more of a red grapefruit than a pink or a white. A touch of blood orange, maybe? Hmm. fantastic the aroma is compelling and in the background I am picking up something a bit piney resinous and that hint of the bitterness to come later but it smells fantastic there's no denying that Let's get into it Wow. First off, it's sharp, it's tangy. You're getting all of the citrus flavours first, so there's plenty of orange in there, there's hints of satsuma, there's a big hit of grapefruit. But then, just as that dies off, you then get this pineapple flavour coming in. Which is, I mean, considering the hops, it's very unusual. But, you know. Hints of mango. But then, that very short tropical flavour, you then get a well, a pininess coming in. That delivers that bitterness that you expect. That's coming from that mosaic hop, obviously. It is very soft on the mouth. But you're left with a drying finish, which is never a bad thing. 
the end of the day, what's it going to make you do? Have another mouthful. It's very smooth, it's very balanced, which sometimes with a double IPA can be a bit, you know, hit and miss, but that is balanced. It is a bit thinner than I would like. Especially considering the um, inclusion of oats, but is it delicious? Yes, it is. And you're not picking up that 7.7 .7 at all. It might be dangerous, but it's smooth. It's very drinkable. Not sessionable, not at that level, obviously. If anything, I would like a bigger separation between the resinous piney finish and the citric start. That tropical middle needs to be extended a bit. Maybe some Simcoe might balance it a bit more. That's just me, of course. I have to say I've never been a big fan of Eldorado hops. They have their uses. All in all, very good drink. Yeah, can't deny that. There is a slight dankness on the aroma. There seems to be the light fluctuating behind me there. I don't know what that was. That dankness is not quite at the level I would expect. It's not quite in the um, weedy, horrible, dank flavour, but it's also not in the rich, grassy dankness. It's, it's, well, it's just not there. But it is what it is. Is it a good beer? Yeah. Is it a fantastic beer? Maybe not. I mean, it's very drinkable, it's very delicious. I just think there are other beers of a similar type that I would enjoy more. But, you never know till you try it, do you? And yes, it is a very nice beer. So, on that note, cheers to you all. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe down there and of course until next time, well, happy drinking.